Did you know that there are certain traits banned in various areas of the world? With different countries and places having their cultures and traditions, and of course, some experiences, some also have their own list of traits to avoid. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss different illegal traits that could end your life. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our latest videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. And this episode is one platter you want more of. Aside from books, one way to travel the world is through local cuisine. If that doesn't work, well, there's always sweets and other kinds of treats. Nothing beats stuffing your face with various sweets. But you should always do your research before eating anything or everything. These streets we're going to mention on this list are banned from other countries for various reasons. And aside from being banned, these sweet little things could also kill you. In today's episode, the bestest will be serving you delicious but seriously lethal treats you definitely should know about. At number one, we have Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. First they're sour. Come on! Then they're sweet. These fruity flavors and hues don't actually come from genuine organic products. Sour Patch Kids are the sweet and tart confections additionally contain manufactured flavors and hues. Since this street consists mostly of sugar and corn syrup, the United States Food and Drug Administration has stated how Sour Patch Kids is made with fake added substances. But the manufacturers do try to calm things down by responding to customer worry. That's why they are planning to expel Sour Patch Kids nourishment colors and swing to characteristic choices instead. We know a lot of you grew up with this street, but you should always think twice when it begins to affect your health and safety. This is probably why most adults outgrow all kinds of sweet treats too fast. Are you one of those people? Having a sweet tooth and watching this episode might disappoint and make you a little sad at the same time. But the bestest is just getting started. We have a few more treats to talk about. At number two, we have mounds. This street is basically filled with corn syrup and simulated flavors. Although it's low in sugar, it contains a lot of fat. Each Mounds bar has 10 grams of fats in it. But not to worry, Hershey's has guaranteed to expel some items from their kisses and milk chocolate treats. Maybe they'll add more coconut that's sure to save this bar of chocolate and fats. After all, they're expelling counterfeit flavors, hues, and high fructose corn syrup throughout the following couple of years. At number 3, we have Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bar. As a treat with the word toxic in its name, it didn't come as a shock when it was recalled in 2011 for being toxic. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. The California Department of Public Health performed tests that indicated the bar's elevated levels of lead, which was more than twice the standard that the Food and Drug Administration has set. Lead poisoning is lethal for everyone, especially for pregnant ladies and young children. Despite the health risks and bans made in other places, Indianapolis's Candy Dynamics continued to sell the candy. I know you guys are super curious to try this out, but believe us, it's better that you don't. At number 4, we have Kinder Surprise Eggs. This popular British treat is banned in the United States, believe it or not. Its ban is the result of having inedible objects in the middle as a sweet chocolate surprise. This is a violation of the Food and Drugs Administration's regulations. After all, these small items are considered as a choking hazard to young children that might mistakenly try to eat the toy. And that might be a surprise not everyone wants to see. The things children wish for most. A surprise? At number 5, we have Nestle Magic Ball. 
This chocolate ball comes with a special surprise and was wildly popular throughout the early 1990s. Its surprise was a plastic toy embedded in the middle of it. Somehow, it would remind you of the current Kinder Surprise eggs. Unlike the other treats in this episode, this was entirely illegal. Back in 1938, President Franklin Roosevelt signed into law the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, which included a provision that states a confectionery is adulterated and therefore illegal if it has partially or completely embedded any non-nutritive objects. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The plastic toy found as a surprise is what made this sweet treat illegal. Aside from that, consumer groups went after the Nestle Magic Ball, claiming how their small surprises were choking hazards. This gave Nestle no other choice but to withdraw the treat from shelves everywhere. It's a little sad to lose another treat. Alright, we are halfway through our episode, but there are still a lot of treats banned and considered illegal in some other places. Make sure to stay with us until the end of this episode to know what other treats could be dangerous to you or your kids. But before we go back to the countdown, make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the notification bell to access more of our videos. Now back to the video. At number 6, we have chewing gum. You might think it's harmless, but there is a place where you can't chew gum. And you guessed it right, that place is in Singapore. Since it is known for its cleanliness, they take almost everything so seriously. The country outlawed chewing gum in 1992 in an effort to keep the streets clean and free of stains. Selling the outlawed product results in a sentence up to two years in prison or may even be fined that's as high as $1,000. So if you're planning to take a trip to Singapore, make sure you don't bring any kind of chewing gum. You mean that's it? Do you even know what it is? At number 7, we have M&M's. A lot of people love M&M's, except for Sweden. Banning the sweet treat is the result of a court ruling that its branding is too similar to another chocolate-covered peanut snack, M by Mandalay. This company has been selling their delicacies in Sweden since 1957. And that is enough for them to also object to Eminem's similar name and logo. Mm. Ah! Jesus Christ, Aaron, fine! Fuck! At number 8, we have Haribo Sugar Free Gummy Bears. These cute treats contain an ingredient called lycosin. And this ingredient consists primarily of maltitol, a sugar alcohol that is as sweet as table sugar. And this maltitol is something that cannot be completely digested. Aside from that, this tends to ferment in the gut. This treat may look appealing and colorful, but it has its own list of side effects, which include loose stools, flatulence, and bloating. The side effects alone are enough reason for these gummy bears to be banned in quite a few countries. At number 9, we have candy cigarettes. Yep, you guessed it right. This candy allowed kids to mimic cigarette smoking adults. Um, uh, <clears throat> I was uh, smoking a cigarette. I know what you were doing. I'm 21 years old. I'm a man. We all know that. Then why is Jeff always picking on me? It was a popular candy item for the most part of the 20th century. However, a lot of parents started to protest against this candy. And you guessed it, it's because it was encouraging children to smoke. And until such time, a lot of countries started to ban this treat. However, if you're curious and you really want to try it out, there are still websites out there that sell them. Phew, that was quite a lot of banned treats. Who knew, right? 
Well, that's exactly the reason why the bestest made this countdown so that you can avoid them. Now, moving on to the last item on our list. At number 10, we have Toffee Crisp. This is another banned item in the United States. It's not even about what the Toffee Crisp is made of, but more on how it's packaged. In 2014, Hershey filed a lawsuit against LBB Imports for importing specialty chocolates. That same company claimed that only it had the right to sell these chocolate bars. It's all because it had brought Cadbury's United States production in the 1980s. Well, we'd have to agree, the competition in this industry is quite big. If you're gonna think about it, it's a bit sad that a lot of treats are actually banned. However, we do need to take into consideration that our health is more important. Boy, my chocolate must be untouched by human hands. So which among these ones we've highlighted made you curious? Not that we're encouraging you to try it out, but we just want to know which one interested you the most. Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.